Sarah just called in. Put a nice bowl that Stefan just called in and uh, got a good shot on him and he's down already right in front of us. Yeah. It didn't go 20 yards. Yeah. We got to this spot at about 7 a.m. this morning. It's now 10 of 6. I've been sitting in this spot all day for like 10, 11 hours. And I just got a shot on a bull. A cow came in with a calf. So Stefan wanted a dry cow. He didn't want to shoot the calf. And you know, the mom with the calf. So uh, right behind them came a legal bull. And I got a shot. And he went down 20 yards. I mean, he just, he went right down in front of us. Oh my gosh. Opening day, 6 p.m. Just hitting 6 p.m. Yeah. I got my ball. Thank you, Stefan. He sent me a permit. Well, I just called him in. You got it on camera. Yeah. I was in the front, and then I said, you better get ready. You better switch with me because he's coming in. Yeah. And then I heard the footsteps, so I got ready. and uh, did, a, did a great shot. Yeah. Wow. Amazing shot. Thank you. So, that was uh, awesome. We had two bulls bedded all day within 200 yards. We must have heard at least 200 oh, bugles. That, that one bull bugled all day long. I'm not sure it's the one I shot because I still hear him. That guy was teasing me all day. Yeah. I tried to call him in. He just, he was bugling all day. There he goes again. <laughs> he just wouldn't come in. He would not come in. But this guy came in. I don't know. He's not a monster. He's legal. He's a nice bull. He's a nice legal. For this area. Oh my gosh, that happened so fast and furious. We arrived here just yesterday afternoon. Stefan and I split up. I scouted one area. He scouted a totally different area. I didn't see a single sign of elk. Not a footprint, not a dropping, no fresh sign in an area that we've hunted before that we've seen elk. Like, usually they're living in there. There was nothing. So I met back up with Stefan last night after he scouted this area and he said that he saw a fresh sign and it seemed like they're living in there. So this morning before sunrise we headed out, ended up at this spot at 7 a.m. and it was not till 5.50 p.m. that I took my shot on this beautiful 5x5 five five bull. So 11 hours I was at this spot. Earlier, the first thing, we had a little tiny uh, spike come in with just little knobs, and uh, then we had a little bigger spike come in. Neither one of them detected us, so it was perfect. Sat in this spot all day long, and finally the wind changed, so Stefan, all he did was move us from one side of the wallow that we were sitting to the other side so that the wind was better. And then all day long, all day long, we heard bugles. I mean, non-stop. And Stefan did a few cow calls. Finally, instead of just bugling, he came in, pushed a cow and her calf. We let them go by because we saw him coming behind and just got the perfect, perfect shot. He went right down. He didn't go anywhere. He just, I mean, he went down quick. I think I shot him through the heart. And I mean, I'm just so happy. It's opening day. And I harvested the biggest bull that I've ever got in my entire life. And my first bull with muzzleloader. I've gotten a cow with muzzleloader before, but never a bull. I had an either sex tag and I was really hoping for a bull. Stefan set me up in the perfect spot. 
and I mean it just <laughs> opening day. Yeah. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm just so got up. So what happened is two bulls were bedded within 200 yards and they were bugling all day. Oh, okay. And this one got up, I could tell it started moving. So I started cock calling and they came right in, you know, literally, I mean, within minutes. Yeah. I got them fired up. I got them yeah. chuckling and you have it on camera. And, but and then, it was an hour hike into this spot oh, and totally straight low. Down. So we have, probably it's going to be a two hour, I'm going to say with this guy on our back, it's probably going to double yeah. our hike. So it was probably a two hour hike out of here. Yeah. And it's 2,000 feet late. vertical. So we came straight down. There's a reason why nobody's here because it's a hole, a hell hole. Yeah. So we have to go 2,000 feet straight up through some blow down. So. And first we got to get them all quartered yeah. up. So yeah. we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. So we're going to get started. But thank you so much for coming along on my muzzleloader, either sex in Colorado. Uh, no, now it's my turn. Yeah, now Stefan's got a muzzleloader cow tag and hopefully I will now become camera person and I'll hopefully get that hunt on video for you guys. But uh, yeah. thanks for coming along with us on another episode of Catch and Dinner. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We are really happy if you guys subscribe so you don't miss future adventures. Because here at Catch and Dinner, it is always an adventure. It's a really steep hill and a long pack out and it's just way too much. So he put it up in that tree really high. 